Welcome back to Theme Park Wizards. Today's Epic Universe video will be a kind of a quicker update because we just did one and there's not too much um, to go over, including an, a complete omission of the land, the Wizarding world, world of Harry Potter, which uh, that hasn't had much progress, so I'll make that for the next update. But thank you to Bio Reconstruct for all these fantastic photos. We have some fantastic train reveals and lots of vehicles like uh, the Donkey Kong minecart and of course the Starfall Racers uh, coaster chain which we'll see right now so let's go get started starting off in Celestial Park you can see the um, water show areas getting some more touches for the fountains and getting some more show elements to be fully installed for this show and it's almost complete and the seating area around it the amphitheater like seating is almost complete as well looking at the Atlantic restaurant um, there's the foundation has been put in, the supports have been put in, and they're putting a protective tarp over it as it gets the foundation ready before they start to go and put the ceiling on the top of the small restaurant as well. Moving along in Celestial Park, this is the most interesting part of this video and the most interesting part of the land, new development wise, because wow, look at that. The common has been almost fully unveiled for Starfall Racers and being painted its bronze color. That silver color of the actual common shooting will be obviously changed into a, be painted a different color but the rock the rock work going to that second launch looks fantastic or the beginning launch looks fantastic and the comet itself looks fantastic you can see even see uh, the outer layers painted green over there here's another look at the side view use that green layer as with the bronze layer and the coaster trains one of them will be going this way um towards us and another one on the yellow track or gold track will be going away from us which would be pretty awesome Look at this beautiful, beautiful train. Wow. This is the Starfall Racers train on obviously one of the tracks. I'm not sure if they'll all be different colors, but right now we'll just call this the purple train because it's purple, but look at that beautiful leading car. This, these trains will have onboard audio and will be the track will be completely dark, but the trains themselves will have lighting packages. So it look, makes it looks like, make it look like they are comets shooting in the sky. And on the back will be a Back to the Future reference on each of the trains is pretty cool because uh, 88 miles per hour, is that how fast the thing's going to go? I don't know. We don't have any stats officially, but that's very interesting. But God, look how gorgeous and the, 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 the stars on the train yeah, and all those little stars will light up and you'll be speeding along this coaster into uh, uh, ethereal music, which is fantastic. What a gorgeous, gorgeous train. And one last look at uh, Slice Hill Park here. We have that same blue finish at one of the main, pine, main ponds up by the front of the park as well. Moving along to the Dark Universe, you can see the manor, the uh, Monsters Unchained, which actually looks fantastic. And the scaffolding is slowly but surely coming down the main portion of that facade as well. Here's a better look at that in the entrance gate, and they even have its own little concrete pavement area marking the entrance plaza to the attraction and the whole area the spiky walls continue and the very intricate intricate details on this facade as well you can see um as we zoom in here some plastic tarps still on the facade but for the most part all the details are really starting to show and we're still waiting for that topper piece which will be coming in the next couple of weeks or so but even some more paint has started on some of these other uh, levels of the attraction and this facade just looks absolutely gorgeous this Hopefully this queue is as good or better than the Hogwarts queue for the same ride system, Forbidden Journey. Moving over, uh, another area look at this plaza area um, in the Dark Universe for this attraction with a little uh, section of the Curse of the Werewolf coaster as well. The pathways remain covered to prevent uh, dirt and debris coming from them. Those are finished pathways, which is why they're covered with that plywood because they want to stay nice and fresh and clean um, while construction work continues to go on around them. Here are some of the tops of the Darkmoor Village. They look fantastic. And again, some of the theming on the walls and backstage areas. You see the tombstones there that will guide you into the uh, village as you come through the beautiful looking portal. Curse of the Werewolf looks fantastic with more and more trees being planted every single day, it seems, as the queue continues to take shape. will be an outdoor queue meandering through some trees, but also some covered areas as well. And that break, one, break run into the station Still has to get some th covering as well, and there's some uh, train in the maintenance bay, which looks pretty awesome. Moving over to the hotel, as you can see, the Stella Nova looking fantastic. 
and this facade it's twinkling starry facade that does sparkle at night I, I just love the whole space theme of this entire park it's very cohesive really cool theme but this looks fantastic and it's sister the terra luna um getting its facade work going as well this is a little bit of color more colorful lighter facade on this side and it's a ways to as it's a ways behind the selenova but it is rapidly catching up moving over to the grand helios hotel fantastic stuff happening over there they're working on the ballroom structure that is that kind of a big boxy structure that they're putting the ceiling on or the roof on um at the very top right there and then you have the dome which is still being worked on but is almost complete and the facade the glass and facade have worked its way up to the final floor or just the floor before the fi final floor there so that is making quick progress as this hotel is all of a sudden almost complete which is, looks amazing here's another look at that terra luna hotel sorry stella nova hotel this completed facade work this is over here looking towards the guest parking structure and what will be i believe epic way moving over to the isle of burke see the play area and second launch of the roller coaster are all just about fully complete with its moss and rock work um done in the second launch the mechanics for the second launch of the coaster that area looks to be just about done as well looking over here at, at a little quick sir little quick server snack shop or a retail shop here you can even see the name here um uh, i can't read it at the moment but this beautifully themed store is almost complete as well and just a more overview of the how to train your dragon coaster is rumored to be named wing gliders the station looks uh, complete and hopefully there's some smoke coming out of those chimneys um, i don't see i don't think there's a spot for them though but it looks pretty nice but it looks very green i love it look very nice and green you have the grass there and all the trees very nice first scene into the first launch of the roller coaster here are footers for what is believed to be the coaster's station entrance and the exit to the roller coaster is that barn that is almost fully complete over to the left hand side of that photo. Here's the coaster's first launch, another look at that area, all the mechanics and fins are up. And there's a gear that will be part of the thematic elements as a uh, part of the story element as Hic Hiccup will use that to get you start flying throughout the whole attraction and the wing glider attraction. Here we go over here. This is where those grandstands are going to be built to watch the, uh, have the people, dragons, everyone watching, the people of Burke watching the flat ride area. And that's why the coaster track is covered right now with that plywood. This will create a wonderful head chopper moment for the attraction while you're on it. Lastly, here are some photos of the Mead Hall area. And you can notice a little house on top of the area. This is uh, one of the main characters' houses here. And Mead Hall is huge, again, over like 100 15 or so feet tall you have this massive house that's tiny for to really ask the force perspective and yeah imagine uh, living there you get a quite a wonderful view like i said at the beginning of this video this is all about ride beagles and here's a uh, fire drill boat here you can see it's uh, wonderfully themed as a nice viking ship and that is in the maintenance bay right over there um can't wait to see that right start testing and probably just uh few days or weeks moving over to super nintendo world which was omitted last time i, me I mentioned that super nintendo world is going to get some concept art and official official concept art and details that date was supposed to be monday it was been pushed to the end of the month so expect that in just a couple of weeks but mountain beanpole and the yoshi is looking fantastic yoshi adventure um all the yoshis are fully unwrapped and they're all of different colors and i'm sure they're testing even some of the animatronics at this time um which we all know i was uh, those look like we have that here in japan and in hollywood uh and you can see even some steel for the entrance to the show building on yoshi's adventure when they uh they have not completed that war pipe just yet moving over to the donkey kong country you see the uh palm tree has been a uh, palm tree facade palm tree sculpture i guess it's called will be f is finished and just has to be painted but that looks fantastic and the whole wall in that show scene is done Golden Temple blocks have been completed top the uh, ride's first launch. And speaking of the first launch, the barrel. This is the barrel that you'll shoot off of. It hasn't been painted yet and it's sitting off site. Um, but that will be installed and you'll be shooting off that in the first launch, which will be super cool. And again, here's that ride. You can see the Donkey Kong mine train or mine cart, which has been testing, by the way. There have been videos on Twitter of nighttime tests this guy in action and here it is in the station getting ready to go for maybe a daytime test run 
And that's going to do it for this video, Epic Universe Construction Update. Lots of variety of vehicle spotting. It's super cool. That means we're getting close to the finish line. This thing opens in just over a year, summer 2025. Uh, so we're getting very close, which is super awesome. What do you guys think of all these updates so far? What do you guys think of the variety of vehicles? The Starfall Racers train specifically it looks gorgeous. You have the fire drill boat um, and, uh, of course, you know, the dark universe vehicles, but those are still wrapped up. And, of course, the Donkey Kong minecart coaster. So, what do you think of all that? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button. Subscribe to, for more theme park updates like this. If you want early access to videos like these, become a YouTube member. Click the join button below. And if you want to check out my Patreon for exclusive perks, check that out as well. As always, have an epic day.